so thank you. thank you. All right, so jumping on the back of what really Billy has spoke of, what Nicole just spoke of, what Sean is going to speak of, and certainly what Jim is into, I'm gonna keep it pretty fast and furious, but we're gonna get real tactical right now. Uh, and if these come on, that's cool. If not, we will uh, we'll make it work with that. All right, there we go. So, uh, so retargeting, what is it? So I'm wearing these all bird shoes. I've got a few nice comments from people about them. And when I first looked at them online, this might have happened to you. I looked at them online, I was like, oh, I'm not ready to buy it yet. And then next thing I know, I'm on Yahoo, Amazon, everywhere I go, these shoes are following me around the entire internet until I make the purchase. And ultimately, in a nutshell, that is retargeting. And that first time, as we'll see, I looked at these the first time, I might have forgotten about them, they might have gone by the wayside, all birds lost a sale, but they did not because they have tight retargeting on the back end. They knew I looked at these shoes, they knew I had interest, and they knew it was only a matter of time before I purchased. And that is something that's very important for us from a practice perspective. Many times, well, let's dive in, and then we'll talk about it. So, I've never tried this from this far. Let's see if it works. Ah, this far. All right, so that's me. We've already talked a little bit about me. Um, Evidence-Based Chiropractor, if you want to find me, you can find me at the evidencebasedchiropractor.com, and that's a little more, but let's dive right into the, to the meat of it. So, retargeting is about following your prospect. It's about getting multiple exposures to people throughout time. So, this is a little bit of retargeting in action to start. Um, and what you'll see there is, that's obviously me, the picture on the right is totally weird, bad caption, I apologize, but you get the point. With this, this is not on my website at all. And the picture on the left actually came up, that's Alex Vidan who spoke earlier this weekend, that's Alex saying like, man, I was on the news in St. Louis and the pre-roll to my segment on the news was me showing up saying, hey, how's it going? So, the, the va there's a vast expanse of retargeting, and it's important. On the right, you'll also see, that was an article, I forget what website it was on, it might have been, it might have been on CNN or something to that effect. But there's a lot of opportunity to get your message out. You don't need to get it out maybe on CNN, you don't need it in St. Louis, but in your community, if you are able to follow your people around the internet, those touches are going to play a big, role in getting a patient exposed to your office, number one, but then number two, to convert them from prospect to patient. And it's all about a warm audience. So a warm audience are people that know, trust, and like you through exposure. And think about how many people go to your website. This is really where we're gonna go with it. If you think about how many people visit your website, it might be a hundred, it might be a thousand uh, per month. And then you look at how many new patients that you have in your office per month it's probably not a hundred or a thousand. So where's the fall off? Especially from a practice perspective, if somebody visited your website as a chiropractor, it's very likely they're interested in your service. They probably typed in your town here chiropractor. They might have found you in a, in a Google search result. You might have been using SEO. Maybe they saw you on Instagram. They might have seen you through a variety of ways. But when they come to your website, are they converted? And often that's not the case on the first touch. And this is where retargeting can be absolutely crucial to building your practice at scale because you're going to get multiple touches to each of these prospects to engage them, inform them, and ultimately turn them into patients throughout time. So that a warm audience are people who know or are at least familiar with your message. So if we get really down to the nitty gritty of it, how do you do it? It sounds kind of complex. Do you need a big system? Do you need a big team to do so? The answer is absolutely not. There are three very simple steps. It can be unbelievably complex, but let's make it simple because a lot of people out there are not utilizing this at all, never mind at an optimized level. So if we look at the three steps towards retargeting, somebody visits your website. Again, we touched on this with all birds with my story. As far as I looked, I said, oh, okay, I'm kind of interested, as do many people to your website. They visit your website. Well, what happens then? This is the key of retargeting. You can install what's called a pixel, a tracking pixel. It's an invisible piece of code. Facebook will actually give you a custom one for free. It doesn't cost any money. What that piece of code does is number one, it's invisible, and number two, it 
grabs that individual's data. It tells Facebook or the audience, whoever the audience capture is going to be, we're gonna use Facebook as an example here. It gives them the ability to say, I know Jeff just visited Allbirds website. I know John just visited Dr. Sean's website. I know X, Y, Z. That is the critical piece of the puzzle because what occurs is when you visit the website, the pixel says, I know that's Jeff, and then it automatically dumps that individual into a custom targeted audience of people that they know have visited your website. And from there, what occurs is number three, ads, ads, ads. That's when then you can dictate a specific advertisement to that warm traffic, somebody who's already visited, already familiar with your messaging, already familiar with your name. So this is really as simple as it has to be when you talk about retargeting. So you stimulate interest, somebody visits, behind the scenes the information is grabbed, and then it gives you the ability to communicate in perpetuity with those prospects, which is very, very big deal. Some of this font is really small on here as well. I'll send these slides to anybody if you email me, J-E-F-F, Jeff at theevidencebasedchiropractor.com. I'll happily email these slides to you, Jeff at theevidencebasedchiropractor.com. So if we look at the four steps on the timeline, again, this is kind of putting it into context again. A prospect visits your website. They are interested in your service. We know that typically they do not convert. So what occurs? Well, they might have visited because of a lead magnet, as we'll talk about with, and Sean will talk a little bit about this, certainly with Facebook ads. You have different pieces of content on your website, whether that's a blog post, whether that's a standard advertisement, whether that's a, a tripwire or a lead magnet, that draws somebody, or maybe it's through search engine optimization as we touched on. There's a variety of ways that people can find you on the internet. Once they visit, the pixel takes hold, hits them into that custom audience. You don't do any work for that whatsoever. <laughs> that is completely automated, completely automated. And then you set up your ad on the back end, that retargeting ad on the back end, and it will show up to those individuals across varying platforms. Here's the interesting part about this. You can set up an ad in Facebook that can show additionally outside of Facebook. So what you saw earlier when it was my face in before Alex's video or my face before whatever it was, the CNN uh, you know, scrolling text, those are obviously not on Facebook, but those are advertisements that I created on Facebook. There are ways to optimize this to the nth degree, but this is just to give you a little taste of what's possible ultimately with retargeting. So where do you see them? You can see them in a variety of contexts. It might be a banner ad, it might be video roll, it could be an Instagram. Everybody here as they're scrolling through their Instagram feed is sure to see advertisements and sponsored posts. That's retargeting. It's very likely that you visited something that put you into an audience for that individual to see you across the internet and then continue that conversation. Additionally, it could be on a sidebar of a website as well. So the context of retargeted ads can be the full gamut. It might be video, it might be a picture, it might be text. The sky is the limit. It's whatever you want to do to communicate your message. So we talked a lot about funnels. They've been talked about extensively. This can be part of your funnel if you think about it in terms of a funnel context. People visit your website, a large number of people visit your website, but how are you continuing the conversation? How are you turning them from a prospect to a patient? Well, very likely you are doing it through a continuation of adding value, a continuation of your messaging, and a continuation of letting them know your unique value proposition as the chiropractor in your town. And that is exactly how you can systematize this through a funnel type system website retargeting, and ultimately you are moving that individual towards making a decision on whether or not they are going to say yes. And if you do a good job, then it should only be a matter of time. The wonderful thing, as I touched on a few minutes ago when I was up here, what we do as chiropractors, is there is very little, if anything, that is more safe, more effective, and gives more value. So you can stand behind what we do with a lot of integrity, which is also nice because I will certainly tell you, not every product has that behind them. So the retargeting A, B, C, and D. 
this is kind of small, I apologize. So you need to be creative with your ad copy. So it can't be boring. So get creative with your ad copy. That is one absolutely clutch component to things. Creating your custom audience, Facebook will do that automatically for you. It takes a few minutes of setup work. I am confident everybody in this room can figure that out quite, quite easily. Also ads, again, you decide on what you want to do. Do you want to drive people to a webinar? Do you want to have a banner ad? Would you like to have a video ad? The sky is the limit. Don't get bogged down in the tactical application of it, but just decide what works best for you. If you love to write, then create a blog post. If you love to be on video, do a video ad. If you like to engage and inform, then a webinar might be best for you to drive that traffic to. But the sky is the limit again, be creative. Now the D part here is don't get crazy. You do not want to, as Grant said last night, you, you want to be careful about stalking people. So you, there's a tolerance factor as well. You need, to re you need to engage people, you need to emphasize your messaging, but you certainly don't want to scare them off before they've made a decision. That's a fine line, it's a gray area, it's gonna depend upon your messaging. There's gonna be a ton of factors, but don't go from zero to 100 on this. Start to ramp slowly, engage with the result, see where it's leading, and optimize from there. A good rule of thumb is maybe 10 to 15 times per month someone should see your retargeted ad. That is a very broad spectrum. It is not written in stone. It depends a lot upon your audience and certainly as well your messaging. So retargeting was the big deal. These are very small quotes on here. But the bottom line with all of these quotes is that retargeting is really the future. There is something to be said for advertising, but you need to lead people down the path. You need to tell your story, and you need to not push them to make a decision, but you need to engage them with what you may be able to offer. And again, what we do as chiropractors is potentially and is probably the best thing that will happen to them in their lives. So don't hesitate to lead them on that path. Don't hesitate to tell your story regarding that. So retargeting is just one way to do so, and a very important one. So, if you would like me to retarget you, you can visit me on any of these channels here, and then you can see it certainly in action. So, again, you can pick up people's information with code across a variety of your platforms. Do not get bogged down with the technicalities of it, but hopefully this was a little bit of an eye-opening experience on how you can start and why you should start. Many people do not make a decision on any purchase until four to seven touch points. Retargeting can help get you those touch points with you controlling the conversation and making sure that people understand your messaging inside and out. So as I said, the, the, if you'd like these slides, Hit me up, Jeff at theevidencebasedchiropractor.com. Some of the text was a little bit small. I'm happy to share it. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this, don't hesitate to hit me up as well. I've created a chiropractic growth hack cheat sheet that's also available on the website that dives into retargeting, email marketing, and a variety of other things. Um, but that was very fast and furious. Thank you, Tristan. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And thank you for being here this year at Chiropractic.